Today on Chow Time, I'm flying solo while Dad's on vacation looking for the elusive $1 meal. Whistler, British Columbia, Canada is my destination of choice. Not because it's North America's premier ski destination and home of the 2010 Winter Olympics, but because this weekend it hosts the ultimate party. First, Cornucopia, a celebration of world-class food and beverage, and second, the Barefoot Bistro, home of the original eccentric party animal, Andre St. John. This is the way it goes. There's no ties in this. Better. With my special guests, I'll learn what it takes to throw a world-class party in a world-class town. Chocolate is a food group unto itself. <laughs> so party time on Chow Time! The word party is synonymous to Whistler, British Columbia. Four days every year in November is an event, one not to be missed, Whistler's Cornucopia. While the snow falls and skis and boards are getting tuned up for the upcoming season, this resort town goes into party mode, full throttle. Cornucopia is a celebration of food and wine and just about everything in between. You'll see what I mean later. The magnitude of Cornucopia is indescribable. Thousands of people from all over the world make the annual pilgrimage to enjoy countless wine tastings and seminars. This is Crush Gala, an upscale tasting of some of the world's best nectar, complete with stations of mouth-watering temptations. No wonder it's sold out every year. There are numerous wine dinners and parties to attend. One restaurant has proven to be the talk of the town when it comes to Whistler, the Barefoot Bistro. These bashes are as legendary as partying with Hugh himself at the Playboy Mansion, except you don't need to be invited. You just need a $225 ticket. How's the food? Fantastic, very good, yeah. Well, let's, let me tell you, hang on. Beautiful, really good. The mastermind behind this organized mayhem is the owner, Andre St. Jacques, AKA Party Animal. Last year, 2,500 people packed into this first class restaurant, but this year, Andre has scaled back the mayhem to a manageable 1,000. As word spreads around the world of another Andre party, tickets are in short supply. So what goes into preparing for a party of this stature? We'll have to ask the man himself, if we can find him. I thought he'd be here, organizing the last few details of this year's theme, Moulin Rouge. As I make my way around, I'm amazed how quickly a first-class restaurant can be converted to Party Central for one night then back again for a world-class dining experience the next. Is that for tonight? This is a staff meal for tonight. Staff meal? Yep. You guys eat pretty well then? We try. That's why we work in kitchen. <laughs> Andre is nowhere to be found, but dedicated, self-motivated workers are everywhere. I ask wine director Keith Noble if the employees like their job. Yes. <laughs> uh, it is uh, the reason I wake up in the morning. It's uh, it's awesome. Here at the Bare Barefoot Bistro is uh, it's like it's living the dream. I am living the dream. Don't tell anybody, but I got the best job in the world. I'm sure you have a good time at your job. But oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we have uh, we have a wine room downstairs. We got ten thousand bottles, a million and a half dollars in inventory, wow. uh, and yeah, I get to uh, play with it. Open wine. It sounds like you know you live by the same philosophy as Andre. Uh. Andre is awesome. He's my mentor. He's crazy, and this is a great place to be. Like, he's living the dream. Holy cow. Now, are you going to have fun during the party yourself? No, no. As you can tell, I'm a shy, quiet, reserved guy. I'll probably be hiding in the back or something like that. No, of course. We are going to have an absolute blast. Like, this is the greatest party uh, of the year in Canada. It's, like, so over the top. Uh, the guests are just going to, their minds are going to be blown. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Are there some surprises? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'd tell you, but the camera's rolling. <laughs> Andre must be in the kitchen. But by the time I arrive, he's nowhere to be seen. But it does give me a chance to talk to executive chef Melissa Craig about tonight's menu. It's featuring all different chefs from the city, as well as uh, we're doing a couple things. Uh, we're doing uh, pork belly, spot prawn rolls, like in dumpling skins, and duck confit croquettes with a truffle aioli. 
Oh, that sounds great. I know I saw you that you had actually some fresh truffles that just got FedExed here. Yeah, for tomorrow night. Uh, this year, 140 grams for the dinner. So about five bucks a gram. How about in the kitchen yourself? Is, is there a lot of stress? And yeah, it's been a week of my staff probably all hate me right now, but yeah, very stressful. Everything is really hectic. Look at it. Nothing's even done yet. In two hours, a thousand people are going to be here. Can you believe that? No man can resist a model, and better yet, a naked one. So I'm sure to find Andre right here. Every year, dozens of ladies are used as walking billboards for the sponsors of tonight's events. Do you realize you could be naked in front of like a thousand people? Last year was bigger, and I was naked last year, so it's just fun. Politically correct? Probably not. Then why do it? Why, why are you doing this? Just for fun, just to see what it's like. How's it feel? Um, pretty cool. It was a little cold, but the room's heated, so I'm doing okay. Why, why do you want to get painted? Um, no real reason. I just think it's pretty cool. Like, when are you ever going to get a chance to get painted? Unless you're kind of crazy, I don't know. <laughs> is, it, is it cold? Um, the spray is, yeah. The actual paint with the brush isn't. How long does it take? Um, how long have we been here now for? Like 40 minutes or so? 40 minutes, about. With only a couple of hours until party time, I'm starting to get worried. Where is Andre, the leader of this wild night? Stay tuned, you won't believe the answer. We're at the Barefoot Bistro and you're watching Chow Time! With the band's sound check nearly complete, Things are quickly falling into place at the Barefoot Bistro for Whistler's Party of the Year. But I still haven't found our host, Andre St. Jacques, until he sends for us to come to his hotel room. Can this be true? With under an hour until showtime, it seems that Andre is in the middle of a massage. Big party tonight. Yep, could say so. Yeah? Yeah, it's gonna be a good party. What's it take to put a party like this on? It takes a lot of great people, as you see, running around and working for me, because I tell you what, I have actually pretty much zero credit. As you can see now, I'm just lying down, getting a massage, and getting rested for the party tonight. But it's a, it's a lot of organization, a lot of great people that work for me and make it all happen. And, and it's, you know, it's, we're a big family, and it's, it's, it's a lot of work and many, many months of behind the scene. Working. And it's unique this year because you have different restaurants taking part. Well, yeah, this is like the twist we decided. Like, you know, every year I try and do something different. And, uh, you know, I've always pushed the level of naughtiness, which um, you'll see tonight. But um, but um, this year I decided to add something to it. Like, you know, there's a big food component. We have, like, some of the top restaurants of, of Canada We're cooking with our chef, Melissa, tonight, which is very exciting. And how many people oh, tonight? there we go. How many people? A thousand. So it's just a small party. Yeah, it's small. And who's calling? You're not, you're not a busy man, are you? No. <laughs> Can you call me back in about five minutes? There you go, sorry. So that's right, you're that's right. So, so how important is food in your parties? Well, it's always been important, but this year we've really made it a feature. So food and wine, it's about the party, without a doubt. But you know, the party just starts at 8 o'clock. So the first three, four hours, People be indulging in some great food and great wine, and then people's mood and, and the atmosphere will change, and you'll see the shift change around between 10 and 11. And you'll see the change, and then it's like the naughtiness comes out of people. People will start wearing their mask, and people get a little wild till four in the morning. What kind of costs is, are involved in making a party like this? Well, it, it is, and people ask me, say, it costs around $200,000 to run a party like this. So, of course, without corporate sponsors and without, you know, like, you know, even the tickets that we sell now wouldn't even cover the cost, really. So it's, it's pretty, uh, it's a very expensive venue to do. But we do it for the party. We do it because it's great for Whistler. And we do it because it's for charity. So we raise some money, and that's the main thing. So are you going are, are you to be staying up all night? Party? I'll be up all night not not really partying it's just, as funny as it's it's my party but i'm the host so i'm not partying i mean i have a good time but i have to be like on the ball that's why now i'm getting myself all prepped up this two-hour massage is very important hit it, hit it. moments before the guests arrive everything is ready now that's timing the eight course fine dining dinner is tomorrow night now it's party time 
more fitting for appetizers and finger food. Vikram from Vancouver's famous Vidge's restaurant, one of tonight's guest chefs, explains. Well, I'm going to actually make um, a very simple salad called the street salad of Bombay. But uh, <clears throat> the idea behind the street salad of Bombay is uh, it's, a, it's like a street food. So you come in and you just grab, you grab something to eat uh, in a small little cone. But the catch is that the cones are made with uh, porno magazines. So the whole, there are like 1,600 cones that we made uh, with, uh, with porno magazine rolled up. So the salad is going to go into this porno magazine cone and people are just going to grab it and they're just going to eat it and then uh, you know, throw the cone away. Perhaps by now you can tell Andre loves to test the boundaries of acceptability. Take the sushi bar for example. Now I've heard about sushi a la carte, but this takes the case. It's awesome. The best sushi is always at body temperature. It, truly, truly. Yeah. Body temperature. Strawberries always go good well with champagne. And strawberries also go well with chocolate. Hi there. Let me ask you, to be bartender of the year, do you have to actually drink a lot? You know what, the drinking is definitely a part of it, like a chef eating is part of it, but tasting is the key. Tasting. These are my tasting straws. Drink here, I'm gonna taste that. It's balanced, it's perfect. Now I'm done. Do I drink a lot? Yes. And now you do too. So here we have the butter chicks. Would be butter chicken, the beaverettes, actually. Oh, and the beaverettes. Yes, there is another beaverette. She's currently passing chocolate beavers around the party. And what are we? What are we having here? This is a homemade marshmallow. This is my version of the s'more. I'm serving them on a hazelnut nougatine dark chocolate crust. Would you like to try one? Sure. Toasted marshmallow. Hard to go wrong. The naughty side of Andre isn't just about food. Not too hot for you? No, not at all. <laughs> At one station, they're serving a drink made with yeah. absinthe. What is what is absinthe? Absinthe is the um, it's Ar Artemisia absinthium, which is uh, herb supposed to have hallucinogenic properties. Supposed to be, is it? Oh, it does. It does. It's banned in USA. Banned in USA. Uh oh. But we're in Canada, so it's legal here. So you weren't lying, you are not drinking tonight other than water. I drink water. I'll drink tomorrow night after the dinner. Now I'm the host, I have to put the show on. I drink water, I make sure everybody's happy. And everyone seems happy. Now the fiesta is in full swing. A thousand people with a single mission to party. This is fun. It's 2 a.m. and everyone is firing on all cylinders. Now I noticed you, you, you got you got some, uh, are those band-aids on your finger, are, are those war wounds? No, it's preventative maintenance. It's kind of like putting on a band-aid before you cut yourself. It's uh, because the, uh, the side of the shell is so uh, sharp, it'll cut. It's a dangerous job. Yeah, it is, but hey, especially with all the girls around here tonight. What have you created for this party? I created a traditional torsion of foie gras presenting it with a sour cherry reduction, a little bit of black uh, kawaii salt. There's a black truffle relish and it's on a biscotti that's made with uh, sun-dried apricot and burnt almond. I love foie gras. Rich. Don't tell anyone, this is the best one. Thanks, brother. Andre has outdone himself. This is a great party. Both dance floors are full and no one wants to go home. Andre, it looks like you did it again. I think I did. What do you think? A smashing success. Yeah, people are having fun. It's a great night. And uh, well, I'm, already, I'm already thinking about next year. Well, all I can just say is let's wait till tomorrow at the dinner to see if you can create the full pole. I, I think I, I know I will. The dinners less have to do with me, but mostly our chef Melissa, who's going to do, she's cooking a storm. I've tried every dish. It's going to be phenomenal.
Andre sounds very confident, and why shouldn't he be? Everything is planned meticulously. Maybe that's why the missing key was such a shock. party is over, and the first task at hand is convert Party Central back into the Barefoot Bistro's fine dining experience. Masquerade is about fun, entertainment, and having a good time. Tonight is about what we actually do normally, day to day, every day of the year, about food and wine and wine pairing and showing what the caliber of our kitchen and the food we can create and what our service staff can deliver. Tickets for tonight's event have been sold out for nine months. Pretty good considering they're over 400 bucks. But you really can't buy a dinner like this. It's a once in a lifetime experience. The focus has now shifted to Chef Melissa, the creator of tonight's masterpiece menu. Last night was the opening act. Tonight's the main event. Yes. What's on the menu tonight? Uh, tonight, I uh, did an amuse, a little uh, pea uh, spot prawn soup. Um, little foie gras, black truffle bonbon sort of, wrapped in parchment paper, uh, serrano ham on a breadstick. Um, that's my amuse, so four different little things. Yeah. And then my first course, I made a corn panna cotta, like a savory one with uh, scallop tartare and sabruga caviar on top. And then the next course, Dover sole rolls with, uh, for each course, like two, we're two different whites for that course, so I'm pairing something with the old white, something with the new white. So I just kind of made a five course be 12 courses instead wow. of five. So. And, and how about dessert? Is there a dessert? Dessert, yeah. A candied pear, mm -hmm. and it's filled with uh, Pear William uh, cream, with quince ice cream, and like a citrus broth. How long did it take you to de develop this menu? I've been thinking about it for a year, but came to my decision maybe two days, three days ago. And you traveled to France even for inspiration? Yeah, yeah. Went for a couple of weeks, so. How are your nerves? Are, you, are, you know, are they jittery? Yeah, completely. Completely? Completely strung out. Nervous? Yeah. It'll well, be fine. I have a great team. Like, awesome. The meal tonight is all about pairing. To enhance flavors, each main course will be matched with a corresponding wine. Hence the reason for Melissa's trip to France. The result? Flavors that few palates have ever tasted. So far, everything has gone off without a hitch, and there's still enough time to rally the troops. Is everybody excited? Oh, yes. This is the coolest thing. Last night was fun, it was a party, but this is what it's all about. People are gonna go nuts when they see the food, and some of the best wines that can go with it, so it's the ultimate and fine dining experience for all the guests and you guys. This is what it's all about, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But as the guests begin to arrive, there is a huge problem. Someone has lost the keys to the wine room and a locksmith has to be called in. With so much valuable wine on site, no expense was spared for security. Bad for thieves, but even worse if you've lost the key. But Andre seems more interested in my tie than the missing key. What's with you and ties? Uh, I just said, we talk about this, this okay. we're in a resort, and I was told people, says, you know, I said, should we wear a tie? I said, you know, I should wear a tie. And I said, I even told you this, said, don't wear a tie. Yeah. If you wear a tie, we have to cut it. No, 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 no. We no. have to cut it, it's gonna be cut. No tie for you. No tie for you. Can you believe that? Can, no tie for you, we're gonna take this all off, it's gone, so you relax. Not the first button off, even the second button off. This is a resort town. People are relaxed, and great atmosphere. You have a good time, you drink great wine, you have a good time. And then we'll keep your tie, be part of our new trophy wall, and you can come visit once in a while, but it'll be cut. I've been initiated at the Barefoot, and uh, beware, beware tie in here. All right. The lock is still, well, locked. But right now, I couldn't care less about the wine dinner, because I'm sharing a glass of champagne with one of tonight's special guests. Cheers. Cheers. Sarah, what brings you to this event? Um, well, my husband bid on uh, the Cornucopia Weekend with the Steve Nash Foundation um, I think a couple months ago. And this is one of the items that we uh, bid on. And uh, we're very happy to be here. I love this restaurant. Yeah? Do you, do you enjoy food, Sarah? I love food. I wake up in the morning thinking about what I'm going to have for dinner and 
I pretty much go to bed thinking about what I'm going to make the next day. I, I'm a bit obsessed with food. Is it is it hard to actually maintain a, a proper diet when you're on the road? You know, all the eating out. And... Um, woo! Oh my! <laughs> Bits and bobs and things. Things. Did you get I felt here? something fly in my head. <laughs> we, we're all getting hit. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, we I have the luxury of having a chef on the road, so we actually get fed very, very well. Wow. Yeah. But before it was definitely a lot of veggie lasagna and you know pizza and whatever is the cheapest and most cost effective to make big vats of. We spent a number of years eating that kind of food too. So. How about dessert? Are you a fan of dessert? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Chocolate is a food group unto itself. <laughs> With the wine room finally open, it's time to begin dinner, Andre style. Last year, Andre broke the Guinness World Record by savoring 21 champagne bottles in one minute. This year, he'll try to open seven simultaneously. A good attempt, maybe next year. Well, the moment that I've been waiting for, nine months to be exact. The infamous Barefoot Bistro Wine Dinner. As Melissa acts as quarterback and sets a play for the plating of the masterpieces, the 75 lucky guests, including myself, sit down for what's been built up as the meal of a lifetime. There is no question that this is a first class event. Everything is so meticulous, from the perfectly set dinnerware to the champagne and wine glasses. I still can't believe that they've turned this place from party central to this in so few hours. Planning and executing 75 meals like this could be a logistical nightmare, but this kitchen army seem to be unfazed and march on, prepping and plating like any other day at the Barefoot. Perfection is a must in this kitchen as Melissa tests for temperature. The sole is delicate. The Kobe beef, well, it's the most tender beef I've ever had in my life. Please don't wake me up if this is a dream. Why can't every meal be presented this way? It's so much more exciting. A meal like this would not be complete without dessert and perhaps a little Remy Martin XL Cognac. Pedophores, chocolate mint sorbet, candied pear with quince ice cream are all on the menu. The euphoria of the dinner has clouded my mind, so when dessert comes, I've seemed to have forgotten that I'm stuffed beyond belief. What was I thinking? Four days of informative seminars, the Crush Gala tasting, and seeing the Barefoot Bistro transform from a fine dining restaurant to Party Central, it's time to bid Whistler a worthy farewell. The food and wine were phenomenal, the parties were out of this world, and our hunt for the ultimate party animal ended in success. If you're ever in the Whistler area in November, be sure to check out Cornucopia. You'll never forget the experience. I know I won't, not for the next 361 days. Are you we for real? Cheesecake, chocolate financier, blood of jelly and biscotti with a truffle. I'm gonna explode. But this looks too good. <laughs> Where do I start? Truffle. Mm. Cognac? Good night.